I have a word to share, five things that we need to be aware of, five things that you need to be aware of in these days. Praise God, because I believe that there is so much shaking, so much shifting that is happening right now, so much changing of the guards that is taking place right now. Let me tell you, things are shifting, shaking, things are moving quickly. So I do have a word to share with you today because I feel a sense of urgency in my spirit. I sense a uh, feel a sense of warning in my spirit as well and i believe right now we need to be prepared we need to be ready because there are certain things that we need to be on guard for we need to be alert for we need to be on the lookout for can i get an amen so give me some hearts and likes and do share this on your wall tag somebody is this going to be very powerful it's going to be very important can i get an amen i'm here of course in hawaii right now we got a wonderful conference happening tonight Myself, Prophet Charlie Champ, and Jake Hamilton. And uh, we're going to be here for the next few days for our glory impartation in Hawaii. And let me tell you, there's so much going on right now. We need to lean into the Lord. We need to be one with God. There's no room for us to play games, to lily-dally, have one foot in the world, one foot in the church. You and I, we need to be so secure in our salvation in the name of Jesus. So I have something to share with you today because I believe even as things are shifting in the spirit, there is a changing of the guards and the Lord wants us to be aware. God wants us to be prepared in the mighty name of Jesus. So if you're with me today, give me some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Praise God. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. <clears throat> I'm here live in Hawaii and I have something very important to share with you today. Let me know where you are watching from so I can give you some shout outs here. And once again, give me some hearts and likes and do share this on your wall. Can I get an amen? Do share this on your wall. Praise God. I want to give you some shout outs here in the name of Jesus. And even now, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost because there's something crucial happening. I believe we are in a three week window right now. We are in a season, a three week window where things are going to change so drastically in our planet, in our life. We're in a three week window. Everybody say three week window. We are in a three week window time frame right now where things are going to shift and change so quickly in the name of Jesus. So I have something very important to share with you today. So let me know where you're watching from. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Hello, Angela Calloway from North Carolina. El Eli Lozano from LA. Praise God. <clears throat> Laura Rennie from South Africa. God bless you. Watching from Nigeria, Princess. Praise the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. From the UK. Yes, from Texas. I'm praying in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Prophet Ivana, here you are in Honolulu. Yes, Lord. Three week window, Oklahoma, Shelly, Luna, Neil. Jesus. Everybody say three week window. I believe we are in a crucial moment. We are in a crucial season right now. And we are in a three week window of either massacre and mayhem or miracles that are set up by God. So I want to prophesy and I want to talk to you today in the name of Jesus. Hello there, Kathy Stewart from Vancouver. Lynn David from Durban, South Africa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I want you to give us some hearts and likes, and I want you to share this on your wall, people of God, because I want to start off right now because there is something happening. Of course, I'm sure you've seen uh, Benny Johnson, the wife of senior pastor Bill Johnson of Bethel Church, just passed away last night, earlier this morning. But I have a word to share with you because I believe we are in a three week window right now. We are in a time called the three weeks of mourning in the Hebrew calendar. We are in a time of three weeks of mourning and these three weeks of mourning literally in biblical Hebraic history. These three weeks right now that we are in are the three weeks of most destruction, death and uh, division. 
These are three weeks where the temple was destroyed, where the walls of Jerusalem were breached. These are three weeks. Uh, in these three weeks time frame, uh, they were exiled and taken into slavery. The Israelites were taken into Babylon. And even in these three weeks window, there was so much slaughter and massacre of the Jewish people. So right now we just entered into a three week window called the three weeks of mourning. But who here knows that your mourning will turn into joy? Who here knows that God is the God of the divine turnaround and God is reversing things in the spirit? Can I get an amen? So even right now, even though we are, have entered into three weeks of mourning, this is also three weeks of a new morning, which means a new day, a new arising, arise and shine for the glory of the Lord is upon you. Can I get an amen? So I believe right now we are in three weeks of not mourning, but three weeks of miracles. But we have to be on guard. We have to be watchful. Jesus said, watch and pray. Shakaraba. We have to be watchful. Because there's so much mayhem, destruction. There's so much of the enemy that's trying to prowl like a roaring lion all around to cause terror, havoc, and destruction in America and in the nations of the earth. But I believe right now in these three weeks, God is going to do something supernatural in your life. Can I get an amen? So right now we are in a season called the three weeks of mourning. And this originally began with the sin of Moses, where Moses struck, he threw down the Ten Commandments, he threw down the tablets of stone, and uh, it was because out of anger, everyone say anger, it was because out of anger, because of the rebellion of the Israel, Israelites, of the Jewish people, what happened? They turned to golden calves, they turned to, go oh, I feel like I'm preaching right now, they turned to golden calves, they turned to golden idols, and because they turned away from God and had a spirit of rebellion and idolatry, they made this golden calf and the image of Baal and therefore Moses right after he came down from Mount Sinai Moses was angry and out of anger he threw down he destroyed the Ten Commandments and from there began three weeks of mourning which is the realm or the the season that we're in right now and from there it continued on ever say continued on it became a generational curse it became a an open window in the spirit every single year for the same time frame where there will be mourning there will be destruction there will be death, there will be havoc. And of course, we understand the, the abomination, desolation, where they began to massacre the pig, the unclean animal, the unclean sacrifice in the temple of God, and where they began to desecrate the temple, and even eventually the temple was destroyed. The walls were breached. The Jews, the Israelites were taken away into exile, into Babylon. They were forced to do evil, uh, paganistic things that were against their nature, against their religion and tradition. And so, again, this opened up a window in the spirit realm for the enemy to continue to attack and to bombard and to destroy. But let me tell you, in this three-week window, hear me now, in this three-week window, even though it seems like there's a lot of shifting and shaking and unusual events and unusual things are going to take place, even in the midst of that, I believe it's going to be three weeks of miracles. Someone say miracles. It's going to be three weeks of miracles over your life. Supernatural destiny. The batons are being passed. There's a transference of a anointings, a transference of mantles, and even in these three weeks, God is going to restore, God is going to pay back, God is going to release in the mighty name of Jesus, somebody shout hallelujah, if you're with me today, give me some hearts and likes and share this on your wall, so we are in a three week window right now, where things are being shifted, things are being turned and reversed in the name of Jesus, so remember, the last Facebook live I did, I believe it was about a week or a few days ago, the last Facebook live I did, the Lord prophesied through me and he said, watch what's going to happen with high level influential public figures. Who remembers that? I declared by the word of the Lord, I said, watch by the end of July, there's going to be more shaking. There's going to be more exposure with high level public figures in the church religious realm, in the government, in the media, and business. Who here remembers that prophetic word that was released just, I believe, in the last Facebook Live that I did? So right now, there's a shifting and there's a changing of the guards. So right now, I want to give you five things that we need to be aware of. There's five things you need to be aware of. And even as I've been praying for the last few days, and even as I woke up this morning, as I'm praying and as I'm talking to the Lord, as I'm discerning, the Lord gave me five very clear things that you and I need to be aware of 
in these days, in these three weeks, in these end times, in the name of Jesus. If you're with me, say amen. But first and foremost, before I go into these five things that we need to be aware of, I want to read the scripture here, Matthew 24. Come on, somebody. Matthew 24. We're going to go over to verse 3. Matthew 24, verse 3. And the word of God says, Now as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, Tell us when these things will be. And what will be the sign of your coming? Someone say sign. And of the end of the age. And Jesus answered them, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ. And many will and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Wars and rumors of wars. So that you will not be troubled. For all these things must come to pass. Come on, somebody. But the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines pestilences and earthquakes in various places and these are the beginning of sorrows someone say amen so listen people of god i believe right now that I, I don't believe we're in the end times but i do believe we're in the beginning of times we're in the beginning of the end times okay and here in scripture jesus says these are the signs everyone say signs these are the signs number one many will be deceived number two there will be false christ false prophets, false ministries, false apostles. Number three, many more will be, be deceived. Number four, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. And also, it says, the nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines, pestilence, earthquakes, and these will be the beginning. Everyone say beginning. These will be the beginning of sorrows. Listen, people of God, I believe right now that we need to be aware of these five things. As I woke up this morning in prayer, as I woke up, the Lord began speaking to me that we need to be aware of these five things. Are you ready? If you're with me today, give me some hearts and likes and share this on your wall because I believe in this three week season, in this three week window, these are five things that you and I need to be aware of. And I'm gonna preach and I'm gonna prophesy in the name of Jesus. If you're with me, say amen. Praise God. Number one, the first thing you need to be aware of is false brothers. The first thing we need to be aware of is false brothers, false sisters. What does that mean? That means that there's going to be exposure. That means that there's going to be some Judases. There's going to be some betrayal. That means that even in the next three weeks, I believe there's going to be exposure of false brothers, exposure of false sisters, exposure. God's going to break you out of some alignments, out of some circles. God's going to break you out of some connections, of some things you were aligned with. So I believe in the next three weeks, the first thing, the number one thing you need to be aware of is false brothers and false sisters because it's time for shaking, it's time for sifting, and it's time for exposure. Can I get an amen? I believe the first thing that you and I need to be aware of is Judas spirits. Let me tell you, there is a Judas in every single season. Now, it doesn't mean we demonize them. It doesn't mean that we condemn them to death or we throw them back to the pit of fire, to the, uh, to the lake of the abyss. But no, I believe that we need to be aware, and the Bible says to mark Mark them in the spirit. Don't necessarily mark them publicly, but be aware and mark them in the spirit. So the first thing you and I need to be aware of is false brothers and false sisters. There's going to be exposure. Rebecca, there's going to be shaking and there's going to be release. I release you now in the name of Jesus. I believe God is already confirming this in the spirit and God is already giving affirmation now. Can I get an amen? If you're with me today, give me some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Help us to break the 100 viewership right here in Jesus name. The second thing you need to be aware of, the second thing you need to be aware of even in the next three weeks, in this three week of mourning or these three weeks of miracles, the second thing that you need to be aware of is that brother will turn against brother. Sister will turn against sister. Mother will turn against sister. So what does that mean? That's a spirit of division. That is a spirit of separation. I believe in these three weeks, the second thing that you and I need to be aware of is that brother will turn against brother. What does that mean? That means that there's going to be division. People are going to turn their backs on you. Some of your friends, some of your best friends, people that you love will all of a sudden become a Jezebel. They're going to turn against you. They're going to try to flip and switch the narrative and the story. They're going to try to 
to blame shift. They're going to try to point fingers and make you look like the bad person when all you did was a good thing. All you did was try to help. All you did was try to bless and love and honor. But in their narrative, in their wicked, evil, perceived mind, they're going to try to flip the script and come against you. I believe the second thing you and I need to be aware of in these three weeks, because this is going to happen. Hear me now, people of God. This is going to happen. The second thing we need to be aware of is that brother will turn against brother. All of a sudden, you're going to be best friends. You're going to be friends. You're going to be, you know, like this. You're going to be ha lamb locked, ham locked, and you're going to be like covenant of the boom. Something's going to shift. Do you know why? It's because they cannot go where you're going. All right. They do not have the same level of faith as you have. Okay. Once they believed in God, once they had faith in the move of God and revival fire, but all of a sudden they become religious. They become jealous. Now they're being exposed and now they're beginning to manifest and now they become an enmity to the move of God. They become an enemy to what God's doing. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be an enemy of the now thing. Remember, it's always the old. It's always the old guard, the old elders. It's always the old wineskin that will persecute the new wineskin. And there is a new wine that God's about to release. Can I get an amen? So the second thing you need to be aware of, hear me now. And if you're receiving right now, give me some hearts and likes. If you are with me today, give me some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. The second thing you need to be aware of right now in this season is that brother will turn against brother. A spirit of division, a spirit of Jezebel, and a spirit of betrayal. The third thing, number three, the third thing you need to be aware of, I believe, even this morning as I woke up in a spirit of prayer and the Lord began speaking to me, saying there's things that the body of Christ, that you and I, we need to be aware of and we need to be prepared for. Someone say preparation. The third thing that you need to be aware of, the Lord spoke to so clearly to me, is that people will be lovers of money. And they'll be greedy and selfish. People will be lovers of themselves. People will be lovers of their selfies. They'll be filled with pride. They'll be filled with arrogance and narcissism. What does that mean? That people will be, people will love being right. People will love being loved. Remember, Jesus said, Beware if people praise you all the time. No, people are going to persecute you. People are going to hate you for my name's sake. So the third thing that you and I need to be aware of is that people are going to begin to sell out. They're going to flip sides. They're going to change sides. They're going to jump over the line all of a sudden out of nowhere. It's because of money. It's because of carnality. It's because of worldliness. It's because of pride and narcissism and selfishness. They're all about self. They're all about self-preservation. Hear me now. Self-preservation is not a gift of God. You're meant to die to self. You're meant to surrender yourself. You're meant to go low. But too many people want to self-preserve themselves. They want to preserve themselves from everything that's going on. Let me tell you, people of God, that's not a true friend. That's not a true brother. That's not a true man or woman of God. You need to be aware of people that will sell out for 30 silver coins. That will sell out like Joseph's brothers, like Judas did. Rebe Kerabro. You need to be aware of people that are lovers of themselves, that are lovers of pleasure, that are lovers of the world. Jesus said, be, you're in the world, but you're not of it. Too many people are lovers of themselves, lovers of the world. And let me tell you, people who are narcissistic, selfish, and self-centered, they will not make it. So I believe right now the third thing you need to be, and that's why right now, I mean, we're seeing the left, we're seeing the news, we're seeing the media, the fake news, we're seeing the world beginning to shift over to the globalist, elitist, one world agenda. Vaccines, mandatory vaccine passports, all these things is about money. Pharmacia, pharmaceuticals is all about money. Let me tell you, people of God, God is beginning to shift and expose. God is beginning to destroy Black Lives Matter movement. God is beginning to destroy these antichrist leftist, left-wing agendas like Roe versus Wade. These Planned Parenthood is being destroyed in the name of Jesus. If you're with me today, say amen. So the third thing you need to be aware of is that people will be lovers of money, greed, and of themselves. Number four, the fourth thing that you need to be aware of is that there's going to be a lot more shaking, hear me now, a lot more shaking and a lot more exposure and death. Now you already know me, I'm not a doomsday preacher, I'm not a doomsday, doom and glooms type of preacher, okay? I believe in hope, I believe in uh, the prosperity of the good news, prosperity of the gospel, I believe 
that Jesus is king. You know, I'm not a dooms, fear-mongering type of preacher. But I do believe that in these days, there is going to be more death, okay? There's going to be more passing. There's going to be more sudden accidents. There's going to be more assassinations. Even the, uh, the prime minister of Japan was recently assassinated. Do you really think that that was an accident? Do you really think that there was no conspiracy behind it? Do you really think that that was just a happenstance type of thing? No, it's all aligned, people of God. So number four, the fourth thing that I saw is that there's going to be more shaking and more exposure and more death. Let me tell you, more shaking, more exposure, and more death. I believe in these three weeks, even in these three weeks, we need to pray against terrorist attacks. We need to pray against assassination attempts, against bomb threats. We need to pray for the Jews, for Israel. We need to pray for Jerusalem. We need to pray because there's going to be a lot more unusual things that's going to happen. Even in these next three weeks, even by the end of July, hear me now, people of God, even by the end of July, and I already prophesied this in the last Facebook Live, I said by the end of July, there's going to be more high-level profile figures that's going to be exposed or fall or there's going to be shaking. So we need to pray against the spirit of death. We need to pray against the spirit of fear, the spirit of the Antichrist. But there will be more shaking. And remember, the shaking exposes. And the shaking brings us closer to the Lord. Can I get an amen? And number five, the last thing, the fifth thing that you need to be aware of. Of course, there's much more. But these are five things I felt very strong today that I needed to share with you. Five things that you and I need to be aware of. Can I get an amen? Five things, especially in these three weeks of mourning, these three weeks of miracles. The fifth thing that you need to be aware of is that I saw like some sort of dark cloud or plague being released. We need to pray against the devil, against the enemy that's trying to steal, kill, and destroy. I believe in the next few weeks, there's going to be a sabotaging spirit, okay? There's going to be something released on planet Earth, okay? I saw this in the spirit, people of God. I saw in the spirit something coming out of the abyss, and I saw some kind of dark cloud or plague that was trying to be released on planet Earth even in the next three weeks. I don't know if it's another type of COVID, monkeypox. I don't know if it's another type of biological man-made virus, bacterium that's trying to destroy, kill people, uh, you know, a population control. But the fifth thing that I saw was that the enemy is releasing a plot. The devil is releasing some sort of scam or the devil is releasing some sort of spiritual dark cloud in the atmosphere to steal, kill, and destroy. I believe the fifth thing that you and I need to be aware of is some sort of plague, some sort of pestilence, even in the next three weeks. Hear me now. In the next three weeks, I believe we need to be aware of some sort of plague or pestilence, worldwide type of thing that the enemy is going to try to release. Zeba Kara, that the enemy is going to try to release shutdowns, electrical shutdowns. The last Facebook Live, I prophesied and I said we need to be aware of city shutdowns, of electrical shutdowns. My goodness. And I even prophesied about unusual weather reports, unusual weather patterns. So you and I, number five, the fifth thing we need to be aware of is that the enemy is going to try to release some kind of sabotaging plot plan to steal, kill, and destroy and to release havoc and death, some sort of plague, some sort of pestilence on planet Earth. Can I get an amen? If you're with me today, give me some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Can I get an amen? Melinda comments here, man-made nuclear. Yes, possibility, possibly. <clears throat> but there's going to be some sort of worldwide scare scam. I saw something out of the deep, dark abyss, something dark coming out, like a dark cloud being released on planet Earth. My goodness. But the devil is a liar. People of God, we are right now in three weeks of mourning. Kashika says we're having electrical shutdown in South Africa. We are in three weeks of mourning right now. And in these three weeks, historically and biblically, it is the most darkest, difficult times in all of the Jewish people. And all of the year. Imagine every year something bad happens. This is that three-week season where those negative, dark, bad things continue to happen. 
but we know that God has the upper hand and we know that we as the people of God, we're protected under the hedge of God's covering. Can I get him? And we know that now that God is exposed and God is causing us to go up and be prepared to destroy the works of the enemy and to overcome in the name of Jesus. So I believe in these three weeks, people of God, we need to be on high alert. We need to be aware. We need to be ready of these five things. These five things you and I need to be aware of. If this bears with, witness with you and witness with your spirit today, I want you to give me some hearts and likes and comment me. Because I believe right now God is warning us. God is getting us ready. Remember, a prophet or a prophetic voice prepares the people for what is to come. A prophetic anointing prepares the body of Christ of what is to come so that we may pray and we may have the upper hand. Joseph interpreted the dreams of Pharaoh so that he would prepare a people for a move of God. The Bible says that God does nothing on the earth unless he first reveals it to his servants, his prophets. Can I get an amen? Let me tell you, these five things, there's five things that you and I need to be aware of. And it's gonna happen in these next weeks. I believe it. And you watch and you pray. And you declare the word of God. Jesus is king. Jesus is victorious. Jesus is over all these things. Can I get an amen? Let me tell you, people of God, be aware of these five things. It's going to take place in the next three weeks. I want to pray for you. Give me some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Lift up your hands right now. Lord, I thank you for every single person that is watching today. No plague, no pestilence will come near your tabernacle, will come near your tent, will come near your dwelling place. I believe right now God is exposing, God is shaking, God is shifting, and God is, I see in the spirit, God is shaking a tree. Hear me now. God is shaking a large tree. And as the tree is being shaken, the dead leaves fall, the dead twigs fall. Some uh, birds and nests begins to fall. Things begin to fall. But God is shaking the tree, people of God. And God is saying, be rooted, built, and established on my word, on my rock. Be rooted and built on my word, on my rock. For these are the days of shaking. These are the days of tribulation. These are the days where these signs will take place. God is saying, there is a shaking that is happening. But if you are built on the rock, if you are built on the word of God, then there's nothing for you to fear. There's nothing for you to be aware of. There's nothing for you to be scared of. Lord, I thank you for faith. I thank you for fire. I bless all these people in the name of Jesus. I bless these people. My goodness, I bless your children. Every single person that is watching today that is connected to the sound of my voice, I ask you for the fire of God. I ask you, let fire destroy all fear. Let fire purge and burn away any familiar spirits. And I thank you, Lord. I hear in the spirit right now, God is saying the devil tried to kill you. The devil tried to abort you your life and try to shorten your calling but God protected you and God is releasing second chances I see a hedge of cover God is protecting you my goodness the hand of God is over you the covering of the Lord's abode is over you can I get an amen my goodness thank you Lord for the release of these words for the release of these prophecies and for the release of your presence somebody shout hallelujah he, she who abides in the shelter of the Most High will be covered in the fetters of his angels, in the fetters of his wings. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let me tell you, people of God. Touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. God is beginning to set you apart and set a standard in the spirit. And you are part of the new standard. Can I get an amen? People of God, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you were blessed. I hope you received. I hope this word made sense to you. But the Lord woke me up today as I've been in prayer yesterday and today, even the last few days, as there's so much shift and movement and activity in the spirit, the Lord said, watch out for these five things. Be aware of these five things. Number one, false brothers. 
exposure. Number two, be aware of brothers turning against brothers, betrayal and division. Number three, be aware of people who are lovers of themselves, lovers of the world, who are gonna manifest demons. Number four, there will be more shaking. Be aware of shaking, exposure, and death. And number five, I saw the devil trying to sabotage and kill and destroy. And that there's some kind of plague that the enemy is trying to release, even in the next three weeks. God bless you, people of God. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. Thank you for watching today. Be in prayer, be on guard. Remember, today we start our Hawaii glory impartation. Myself, Prophet Charlie Shamp, and Jake Hamilton. If you want to join online and watch and be a part of our online community for this wonderful conference, go ahead, go to our website, benlimglobal.com. All the information is there. Amen. I hope to see you today on the online community. I hope to see you this weekend. Praise God. God bless you. This is Dr. Pastor Benlin. Please share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Because I believe this is a word for you. Be aware of these five things that's going to take place. God bless you, JC Jason. Prophet Ivana, Sarah, Sherry, Damaris. God bless you, sister. Shalom, shalom. CC, God bless you. Hallelujah. This is Dr. Pastor Benlam. God bless you. Share this on your wall and make sure you give our page a like and a subscribe. And also, please click the bell button on the bottom of this Facebook Live so that you will be notified whenever I come on live as the Lord directs me often to come on live and to release prophetic words, revelation, and impartation. Often frequent, few times at least a week on Facebook Live. God bless you. I'll see you soon. Thank you.